Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to Strange Science. I'm your host, the bombastic Bumble Brief, flying on two cups of coffee, and now I'm uh, pretty feeling pretty bouncy. So I'm excited to read this next little article to you. Um, I always, whenever I see these come up in the feed, in my news feed, because I have science, life science, IFL science, I have science news, there's just a lot of different resources that are always feeding me good information but whenever I see something come up like this I have to talk about it and you guys have to put up with it. Pinky White, Lewistic Alligator with blue eyes born in Florida is one of only eight in the world. An extremely rare Lewistic Alligator born in Gatorland, Orlando is the result of a genetic condition that leads to the partial loss of skin pigment, including a white translucent skin. An exceptionally rare light pink alligator has been born in Gatorland, a, wild, a wildlife park in Orlando, Florida. The female alligator, or female American alligator, alligator Mississippiensis, has a genetic condition known as leucism which results from a mutation in the genes that lead to redu reduced pigment in feathers, hair, or skin. Unlike albinism, which results in pink eyes and a complete loss of skin pigment, animals with leucism only have a partial loss of pigment, normally have blue eyes and white translucent or pale pink skin. The newborn reptile is believed to be one of only eight leucistic alligators in the world. They are very occasionally born in the wild, but rarely survive beyond infancy due to health problems. Is this related to this? No, it's an ad. Because leucistic alligators lack normal skin pigmentation and thus sunburn easy, they cannot be exposed to sunlight for long periods and are at a high risk for, of sun damage and skin cancer. Lewistic alligators are also rarely seen as adults because the skin means they are easily spotted by predators. However, the baby alligator is in good health and currently measures 19.2 inches, that's 49 centimeters long, and weighs three ounces, 96 grams, a uh, park representative said. It was born to a mother who did not have leucism but carried the genetic mutation for the condition and a leucistic father because leucism is a recessive condition. Two copies of the genetic variant, one of the mothers and one of from the fathers are needed for the condition to result in an observable trait. The leucistic alligator was born alongside a non-leucistic male who is the same size. Footage shared by Gatorland shows the pink leucistic alligator freshly emerged from its shell. The color of leucistic alligators may change over time because unlike albino animals, they still have all the genes for pigmentation. A study published in 2020 detailed the extraordinary finding of six leucistic American alligator hatchlings in South Carolina in 2014. The animals were underweight when they were found and three died shortly after being collected. The remaining three alligators lived in captivity for several years until their death. They weren't going to survive, lead author Thomas Rainwhite, a researcher, a research scientist at Clemson University in South Carolina, said in a statement released in the Times, or released at the time, not in the Times, good grief. Uh, they were all fairly emaciated, often having a congenital health defect and are easily detected by predators. Rather than letting nature take its course, in this case, or having the hatchling possibly poached by reptile traders, we collected the alligators in an attempt to nurse them to better health and potentially capitalize on their value in wildlife education and conservation, he added. Yeah, do they got a link to the video? It says there's a video. I didn't even know that. Let me see. Let's go back to this one and see. Gatorland. Uh, Lewistic. Lewis. 
Bluistic. I can't remember how to spell it. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Are you gonna? And I'll go to Gatorland's official. Well, it's long though. That one's just craft stills. Gatorland's been keeping a real big secret here. I've been chomping at the bit to tell y'all. Boom, baby. Here it is. Oh man, it's my turn. Wow. We've got for the very first time anywhere in the world. I'm not. Alligator. First. Where's the? I don't want, I want people to go to your video to watch the actual stuff. I just want to show a clip of the of the baby gator. <gasps> Hatching. Oh, man. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'll watch that again. Oh, that's the dad and the mom. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's so adorable. He's pink. The mom turned, or dad turned white. See? He's white as can be with uh, speckles on his face. But she's pink. And I want her to stay pink. I want her to stay pink so bad. Look how cute she is. And she's pretty chill about being handled too. because uh, Probably because mama carries them in their mouth. There's his, her brother. Ah, so cute! God, I want to die just looking at it. I just want to die. <laughs> it's so adorable. I'm watching it again. How long do I have of her with her brother? <gasps> oh my god! It's so Okay, I see you're talking. I just want to see the alligator. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Looks like, you know what it reminds me of? Reminds me of a fairy armadillo. A pink fairy armadillo. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Is that... Dang, he looks blind. So, I should probably go to Gatorland, huh? Just It seems like something the Hive should just do. Anyway, that was... That was our little venture into... Strange science. I, at Gatorland, I believe they do a lot of uh, stuff for like conservation and stuff. I don't think they're necessarily as road sh roadside attraction as they seem. A little, sort of like a little goofy, but um, I, I enjoy. I, I, you, who am I to judge? I'm goofy as fuck. I'm wearing a Marthman t-shirt right now. Um, I like Gatorland. Um, uh, I, maybe there's a shadier side to Gatorland. I don't know. Maybe Sid Dwyer's gonna gonna. Flip on him. I, I don't know. Sid Dwyer. <laughs> he he overturns uh, anybody's uh, fondness for pretty much any kind of zoological uh, expose. <laughs> if you don't know who Sid Dwyer is, I'll put the link in the... Uh, or I'll link the description. Yeah. Anyhow. 1986 land survey deep in a Louisiana swamp by workers from the Louisiana Land Exploration Company. A clutch of 17 infant ivory reptiles was recovered. Only a few of the blue-eyed albino gators survived and now reside in Gatorland theme park in Florida. This is Booyah Blam. His name means white fog and he is one of only 12 white alligators in the world. These gators are not actually albino. They are leucistic animals, which have a rare genetic condition that affects the color pigmentation in their skin. They have a little bit of pigmentation around the mouth and on the tail and piercing blue eyes. Other than that, they are your typical alligators who eat the same food, 
but their diet is supplemented with vitamin D and because of sensitivity their exposure to sunlight is limited during the day. Each of the four white alligators at Gatorland are all males and are between 10 and 11 feet in length. Yes, they are standout at any attraction, but that would be their downfall in the wild. Because they lack their natural camouflage, they would have been vulnerable to many predators and would most likely not have survived for the world to enjoy.